Good morning. Um, once again, we have a quiet prayer before we enter into the session. Good morning once again. Morning. As you may have noticed, the last time we were supposed to have 11 um, cabinet ministers sworn in, but because one was discharged, um, it had to be postponed today. Alhamdulillah, he is here, and we are honored to go through this process and to swear him in to be able to take his rightful place uh, position in the government. Uh, on that note, I will welcome um, His Excellency. And uh, President of the Republic of the Gambia, Honorable uh, Minister of, um, for Foreign Affairs, um, uh, Honorable Lawyer Usain Odabo, um, uh, the invited guests and other um, coalition members present here, staff of the Office of the President, and uh, I'm glad that uh, the Minister of Interior just walked in and his cabinet, um, Madam Adam Gomjai to come in and administer the oath of office as expected. Madam Jai, welcome. Your Excellency, Mr. Adam Abaro, President of the Republic of the Gambia, Honorable Minister A. and M. Sayudawo, Minister for Foreign Affairs, Gambian International Cooperation and Gambians of God, Honorable Mai Ahmad Fati, Minister for the Interior, all other protocols duly and respectfully observed. As you recall, His Excellency the President, Mr. Adam Obaro, has appointed a sorry. As you recall, his Excellency the President, Mr. Adam Abaro, acting under the powers vested in him, has appointed Mr. Abu Bakar M. Tambedu as Minister for Justice, as required by law, and under Section 71, Subsections 1 and 3 of the Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia, Mr. Abu Bakar M. Tambedu is required to take the prescribed oaths of office of his ministry, which are the oaths of office, oaths of allegiance, and oaths of secrecy. It is my honor to invite Honorable Abu Bakar M. Tambeu to come forward and take the prescribed oaths. I, Abu Bakar Mari Tambeu, having been appointed as Attorney General and Minister of Justice of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I'll be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law. So help me God. I, Abu Bakar Mari Tambadu, do swear that I will execute the functions of the Office of Attorney General and Minister of Justice of the Republic of the Gambia without fear or favor, affection or ill will, according to the Constitution and other laws of the Gambia. So help me God. I, Abu Bakar Mari Tambadu, having been appointed as Attorney General and Minister of Justice of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God.
congratulations go to Honorable Minister of Justice, Honorable Abu Bakar M. Tambedu. Congratulations once again, Honorable Tambedu. I now call on the press secretary and the Minister of Foreign Affairs um, and uh, also responsible for governments abroad, Honorable Lawyer Usain Dabo, to give us a few words of wisdom. Honorable Abu Bakar Tambadu, I'm not sure whether I should say my learned friend, uh, Minister of Justice and the Attorney General of the Republic of the Gambia, prominent secretaries here present, all protocols duly observed. Your Excellency, this is a, an occasion that uh, forms part of the history of this country. The appointment of a Minister of Justice and Attorney General in the post Tegoshi era is very significant because uh, on him that is the responsibility of sanitizing the laws of the country. On him lies the responsibility of projecting the image of the government in so far as the administration of justice is concerned. That enormous responsibility, I'm sure Mr. Tambedu is uh, well suited for. He's a lawyer and he's a lawyer in every aspect. Not lawyers, not a lawyer that Gambians what can be believed to be a lawyer, that is not what he is. But he is the lawyer in the first tradition of the profession. He is industrious. He is honest. I have had the privilege of working with him at the bar. And uh, he is courteous. And uh, he gives advice according to I mean, his conscience. Your Excellency will are now government will not find in him an attorney general whose advice is dictated by the wishes and desires of his employers. He will be so forthright in whatever advice he gives to us for better guidance so that pitfalls, legal pitfalls will avoid legal pitfalls. His uh, exposure to the international criminal justice system, combined with his experience with the domestic uh, criminal justice system, suit, makes him a well suited candidate for this position. And I uh, have no doubt, Your Excellency, that uh, Mr. Tambedu will uh, acquit himself. And, uh, he will, prop, he will be among the lawyers who have taken that high office and uh, he will be remembered, I'm sure, for doing justice and for guiding this government properly on legal issues. And uh, your Excellency, I must congratulate you. That this is the first time in the history of this country that there are three lawyers in the country. That is we have to congratulate you for that, for that. And I hope that uh, the International Assembly will have uh, more lawyers so that it will not just be the view of one lawyer dominating the entire assembly. And I'm sure that uh, uh, in other areas too, you will have a man, uh, you will have the participant. But this is not to say that lawyers want to dominate this government. <laughs> yeah. Your Excellency, I uh, wish to congratulate Mr. Temer once again. And uh, uh, you will find in us, we just started, but you will find in us uh, partners for the uh, advancement of this country. I thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Honorable Dabo. Um, I now call upon His Excellency, President Adam Abraham, 
to Eagles. Politically, my father, I greet you. Honorable Minister of uh, Interior, Honorable Minister of Justice, congratulations. Permanent Secretaries, President's Office, the Chief of Protocol, It's a great pleasure to swear in a Minister of Justice. A Minister of Justice, Batambadu. See, his colleagues have just praised him for his dedication and being somebody who is very hardworking and honest. We can prove that during the transition period, it was a very difficult moment for the coalition. He was on holidays in the Gambia. He offered us his services and helped us during the transition. We recognize that very well. He is working with the international criminal justice system where he's paid a lot of dollars. Because Gambia is very important to him. He sacrificed all that to come and serve us in this capacity as Minister of Justice. The justice system is a very important component of this government. That is the judiciary. We want an independent judiciary so that everybody will be equal in the eyes of the law. The law will protect everybody equally. This is the way we are thinking. And this is the third republic. We want the justice system to be a free justice system. So with Batamba, we have to believe that he will advise this government to the best of his capacity. And we congratulate him for accepting this position. Because of time, that's why he was not able to meet us when the first swear. But he was the first, he was with the first batch to be appointed. But here he is. We welcome him back home. This is the new Gambia. And we have the belief that he will help us to achieve our goals in the new Gambia. I thank everybody for the support. This is a process. This is just the beginning. Republic. We have still more ministers to appoint, but we are taking our time to make sure we get the right people at the right place. So we want everybody's patient. Let's exercise the patient and get the best we want for this country. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much. Sure of the newly sworn in president, um, um, Minister of Justice with the
know, uh, this government has made uh, the form of the Justice uh, Department or the justice system a uh, top priority. How do you feel uh, being head of such a uh, reform? Well, please allow me to start um, with um, thanking the President um, of the Republic, um, Mr. Adam Abel, for um, entrusting me with um, this responsibility. It is an honor and a privilege to serve my country. Um, my capacity as Minister of Justice and Attorney General. Um, certainly, the justice sector has undergone um, tremendous change um, during the past 22 years under the former government. And there is a lot of work to be done in this sector. And um, for me personally, um, restoring public confidence in the justice delivery system is an uppermost priority and I will um, do my best and engage with all um, stakeholders in the justice process to ensure that we um, implement the changes that we envisage for, for the sector. And what are your immediate priorities in this, uh, in this reform process? Well, um, one of them would obviously be the Constitution, as all laws of the land derive um, their authority from the Constitution, and so do all organs of state. So the Constitution is naturally the starting point. Uh, um, we will be um, implementing or starting a constitutional review process with a view to um, ensuring that our Constitution is relevant and serves the purpose um, for which um, Gambians um, have um, adopted it um, in the first place. So constitutional review will be one. But um, then again, constitutional provisions alone do not guarantee any meaningful um, change. So that will be complemented with institutional reform. We will ensure that we um, build robust, independent institutions that will prevent the creation of a permissive environment that will condone disregard for the rule of law and violations of human rights with impunity. So institutional reform is another um, area of priority. And the third area of priority would be um, law reform. Law reform particularly in the criminal justice sector and media law reform. I think we, uh, it's obvious that you cannot have democracy without um, the right to freedom of expression being exercised fully and without reservation. Of course, it has to be done in a responsible manner, but the cornerstone of any democratic um, exchange of ideas is to allow the free flow of ideas in the first place. Yeah, so those will be my priorities. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome.